both that have happened and are in progress. Um, well, we feel great about it. I'm sure Sonia would be thrilled. Um, we can talk later about funding, the family funding. This is one of the things about setting up your artist trust, if that's something you haven't done or are planning to do. It's really good to work out um, how much money you can really put into that trust to support the work. You may not have any money to put into it, but she did. But the situation with the family, which has been um, friendly, um, the money has basically dried up, so now we're in the process of having to raise money, which changes the paradigm. So it's been, we've had kind of this, these golden years to do this work, the first three years, which was wonderful. So some things to think about, just with legacies also. Art world shifts, a resurgence of interest in feminism and elder artists during this time. It's a huge interest. If you open any art in America, you'll probably see some, or any art publication, you'll see some, um, some writings about it. Aging artist population, a new level of collaboration with the younger generation of curators and artists. Um, women and artists of color <coughs> starting to have more visibility in the time. A long way to go, but it is happening. And current interest in archives. So you did, um, did have her archives acquired by the Bancroft Library at UC Berkeley, so they're available for scholarship or anybody else who wants to go and take a look at her work. So she's, she kept herself alive and we've, con we've continued the work. And it's going to be interesting to see from here where to go. Just one more thing, if you are looking for a book, um, this book, The Artist's Estate, I don't know if any of you know this book, it is a fabulous step-by-step -step how to book and I highly recommend it to you and I'll leave it up here if anybody wants to look at it later. And here's the, her URL and my URL if um, you are interested in more information. The trust. Um, the Trust is a fabulous website, and if I had time, I would really um, kind of walk you through it. It's one of the better websites I've seen because it takes you not only through her career, but you know the continued growth of her work um, since she's been gone. So, thank you.